In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build your own solar suitcase, which is a lot cheaper than buying them pre-made, and it only costs about $220. First, we're going to need to get a workstation set up, and then we'll get both of our solar panels side by side, and we also need some hardware. We're going to need a handle and then also a latch. I also got some narrow style utility hinges, which we'll go over this in a second. Also some lock washers along with some hardware. Now you can use the thicker hinges if you want. These were only about $3.50 for a pair of them. I like these a little bit better. It just gives a little bit more of a sleek design and it's mainly just a pin barrel that's different. So we want to line up our solar panels and make sure they are square all the way down. And then what we need to do is also create a gap. And we're going to use the hinges to create the gap. I've done this a couple times. It makes a nice gap on both sides. And also it just kind of makes it towards easy measuring. You just put the hinge in between both panels, clamp down on it like so. We'll go to the other side, do the exact same thing. And now this creates a nice gap that way when you open and close it, it's not actually binding on each other. And so this kind of just makes it easy. You don't need any tools to kind of create a gap. And now just don't move the solar panels and we can go ahead and mark this out. Now when placing the hinge, make sure you put it in the right direction. In one direction, it'll only close three quarters of the way versus this way, it closes all the way. So that's how we're going to set it down onto our solar panels. And now we can mark it out with a pencil. And now we need to drill our holes, which I'm going to use these step bits. These save a ton of time, which time is money. Now, these are a little bit more expensive, but they last forever. And these ones from Milwaukee are probably the best ones out there. We'll go ahead and chuck this up to our drill. And now I'm going to take a clamp and hold down the hinge. That way this doesn't move. And now all we have to do is make a hole that's big enough for the bolt to go through. Now we have to go ahead and add a lock washer and also a nut. You can use nylocks if you want. Now this is probably going to be the hardest part of this whole thing is getting your finger under there to hold the lock washer and the nut. But just take your time and then you'll be able to get them all done pretty quickly. And sorry about the camera angle. Not a lot of room to get under there. We're going to go ahead and tighten them down, but use your cordless drill and use the clutch. A lot of people don't use this and end up stripping the heads of screws all the time. Set this to like number one or two, and then basically we can do a pre-tighten down and not damage any of the threads or the heads of the bolt. And now if you want, you can take your cordless drill, take the clutch and go to about 12. And now we can do a final tighten and then move on to the next step. Now the Harbor Freight solar panels do come with an Anderson connector. So you will need to swap this out if you want to run them in series or get adapters. I find that the MC4 connectors are better for me. And I do have a video in the description down below and how to change that out. So now we'll go ahead and close it up just to see how we did as far as our alignment. And look at that. That actually came out pretty good for the first time. It looks like it hardly needs any adjustment. Now it is off just a little bit, which is okay. You don't have to worry if it's not perfectly aligned because really nobody's going to be looking at it. But you can tweak it a little if you want. If you just loosen up the hinges a little bit, maybe on one side, either the top panel or the bottom, then you can go ahead and just kind of give it a little move and then retighten them. I'm going to go ahead and try it. And just like that, it actually lined up really well. It still is off just a little bit. Right here is good. But if you look right here, maybe just a half a millimeter or so, which this is plenty good enough. It's not going to be under that much stress. So now we need to put on a handle, which in between the two legs, there's a hole right there in the frame. That's where I'm going to mount the handle for this one. And I'm going to go ahead and use that step drill again. So this makes it quick and easy. We'll get that kind of lined up right in the middle. I'm going to make just a little marking hole. And now if you notice, the hole in the handle is actually too small. So again, I don't have to get a different drill bit. I can use that same step bit and just kind of open it up one or two. And now it just fits right in. Okay. 
Okay, now for the latch. So I wasn't totally sold on this, but it looks like it'll work. Now this piece actually fits really good, but this part here that has the latch on it, it's actually gonna have a little bit of a hangover. So I might actually cut that off right about there, and then we'll see what I'm gonna do with the other side. I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the bottom piece installed, and I'll see what I do with the top part and the lever. We'll go ahead and mount the bottom piece first, and I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna end up doing rivets instead. Rivets are strong. They also give a good aesthetic look as far as being a finished look. So that's kind of why I went with this. I had it just sitting in my drawer, and rivets really never go bad, so. And to give it a little bit of a finished look, I just took a Sharpie along the middle and basically made it look like it was never touched. And here's the finished product. So all in all, this weighs about probably 36 pounds, cost about $220 total, depending on when you buy the panels and the coupon that you use. Now what's nice about the Harbor Freight panels is that they already have the support legs on them. So these easily set up and take down. And by adding the parts that we did, this took probably an hour with me filming it. So this is actually a really good price for a portable solar suitcase. And if you haven't seen my other videos testing these and the performance of them, they actually do really good against other known name brand panels. So for the most part, this is probably one of the best solar setups you can get for a portable solar suitcase that's under $250. You basically just get some hinges at the store, put on a latch, put on a handle, and then you can just pick it up and go.